So in this video, what I want to do is derive a formula for the maximum height that a particle will reach, okay? So when it's been projected. So I'm going to do it in a general case here where it's not projected from 0, 0, it's projected from y metres above the ground with an initial speed of u uh, metres per second and an angle of theta to the horizontal. OK? Now, if we're thinking about building a formula for this, I want a formula where I'm going to have h equals uh, something that involves y, u and theta here. I want to make sure that it's not something that involves t. Um, and the main reason for that is that the particle will only reach its maximum height at a particular time. So it doesn't make sense to have t as a variable within your formula. Plus, I don't know what that t is. OK, so I will want to be using a formula that doesn't incorporate it. And so in all likelihood, I will be using number five. So I'm going to do this from a SUVAT uh, method. So let's have a look at the x and y components. So S U V A T S U V A and T. OK, so what do we know? Well, we know that the uh, acceleration in the x direction is 0. And for y in the vertical component, it will be minus 9.8. We're going to do this more generally. So we've actually got it as minus g. Uh, so that we can easily substitute in if we're using 10, 9.8, 9.81, etc., or more accurate versions. Uh, now, the initial velocity for the x component is u cos theta, and for the y it's u sine theta. Now, the particle's going to reach its maximum height when the vertical component of the velocity is zero, and so we want the y, vy, to be 0. And it's going to reach its maximum height, s. In other words, its displacement will at uh, its maximum height will be that distance there. So h take away y. OK, so that will be the displacement when it reaches its maximum height. OK, so what we've got, we've got everything we really need here now. Um, so what I can do is I can substitute that information into equation number 5. This v squared is u squared plus 2as. So v squared is 0 squared, so 0 is equal to, well, u sine theta squared, so u squared sine squared theta plus 2as plus 2 lots of minus g times h minus y. So this is our formula as it stands. I want to get it as h equals. So let's tidy this up a bit. So we're going to have 0 equals u squared sine squared theta take away 2 times g times h plus 2 times g times y. So I can add the 2gh to both sides. And then I can divide through by the 2g. So h is equal to u squared sine squared theta divided by 2g plus 2gy divided by 2g, which is just y. OK? So... In actual fact, if h, if sorry, if y was zero, then this would be the maximum height of the particle. Um, so if you're starting at the origin, that's the particle's maximum height. Okay. If you're not starting at the origin and you're a little way up, then this is your formula. Okay, as we wanted to find. 